So it's Besnik here and this time we're here with what to watch out for in Rust. Okay, so first rule, the unwritten rule, we all know it, um, get yourself off that beach. Now for those of you taking that literal, that doesn't mean swim out and entertain the beach bobs out there on the rafts. It means head inland and if you're extremely lucky, you may come across some loot and if you're unlucky, maybe a boar, a wolf or a big cuddly grizzly bear. We all know you're going to be tempted, but please avoid them. You know what players are like, they want to visit those monuments. They see a building, gas station or a big lighthouse, it's like a beacon to them. They just can't help themselves. Harry, no! Don't look at the light! I can't help it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> then of course you hit your monuments up, you're going to want to recycle. And the least favourite place I want to do that is probably at the bandit camp. And if you're not sure why that's a bad idea, check out my link. Okay, so we've established by now that death is everywhere in Rust. You can't really avoid it, but most likely you're going to run into APC Bradley. And that's probably the most deadly thing on the game. As soon as it comes around the corner, it's seen you, you've got nowhere to go, you're dead. For others, however, your most common problem um, is of griefing, is your neighbours. In Rust, they're not there for a cup of sugar, they're not wanting to borrow your garden tools, they just want all your loot. And they'll set up camp outside your door until they get it. Thing is though, there is a solution to this, and that's building fences and shotgun traps. Hey, eight year old, we don't take kindly to your types in here. Okay, so we've covered other people door camping and killing you. However, you've got to watch out for yourself. Sometimes you're your own worst enemy. You're going to see a base that looks decayed. That's brilliant. Help yourself. However, see an open door? It seems too good to be true. It probably is. It was at this moment that he knew. This also goes for vending machines. You look on the map, you see a good deal. Rock it for a guitar. Bonus, I'm over there. However, when you get there, this is what you met by. However, this is all part of the game in Rust. If you're a person who gets upset dying in video games, you're really not going to enjoy Rust on console because that's pretty much what you're going to be doing when you start off. Once you get the hang of it, you're then, you know, the one giving the bad news to the other people, taking their loot. The game comes a little bit more enjoyable, but it is give and take. You're not always going to win. But, yeah, if you're willing to give it a go, come join us. We're always looking for people. Thank you for watching, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully we'll get some more Rust content out to you soon.